Haven't you ever wondered? What else is out there? Nah, not really. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Right, what have I got for you today? Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. This is a subject that I have not approached. I've seen many a video on YouTube. The reason that I never tackle this is because I could not bring myself to watch this show. I'm gonna be honest with you, I got three episodes in and I just tapped out. And those three episodes took me about five weeks to get through. Every time I thought about hitting the play button to watch more, it just gave me a knot in my stomach. I don't know whether it was just nausea frustration or boredom or a mixture of all I couldn't do it and then I found this article and I want to give full credit to the guy who wrote it Stuart Heritage so I'm gonna read what he has to say because I think he puts it slightly better than what I could okay guys let's get into it now it's over let's come out and say it the rings of power was a stinker the world's most expensive show, which looked like an episode of Hollyoaks, only with woeful acting, was so inept that every episode left you sniggering. When The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, debuted at the same time as House of the Dragon, much noise was made about which show attracted more eyeballs. According to Nielsen, it was a conclusive victory for Tolkien. The Rings of Power viewers watching the first two episodes for 1.25 billion minutes compared with the House of the Dragons, 741 million. But over the weeks, something strange has happened. House of the Dragon has sucked up the spotlight. It has attracted tweets, theories, memes, discussions, all in a rolling boil since the first episode. Meanwhile, if the Rings of Power has been seen anywhere, it was only in places paid for by Amazon. There are billboards and adverts and special Amazon packing tape adorned with the show's logo. But in terms of spontaneous, organic excitement, it has been a wilderness. Why? Well, now that the first season is finally over, there is one clever answer. The Rings of Power isn't very good. It quite often isn't anywhere near good. Isn't very good? No, shit, it's awful. It was horrible. It was the most directionless, soulless, vapid, boring, horribly acted, terrible dialogued TV show that I've come across in a long, long time. There are moments in almost every episode where I have found myself sniggering into my sleeve at how inept it is, and all these misgivings were massively underlined by the finale. Friday's final episode promised to answer the question at the heart of the first season, who is Sauron? Throughout the last few weeks, the show had been tying itself into all kinds of knots to get us to care about this. And that's the thing, isn't it? Like, who even cared about any of the characters? There was nothing compelling to draw you towards them. Galadriel was just awful, just whining about every single thing that she did. Every person she met, she was awful to. She was, she had superpowers and could beat everyone. She was better than everyone. She was just awful. Throughout the last few weeks, the show had been tying itself into all kinds of knots to get us to care about this. Wheeling out a truckload of moustache twirling figures with Sauron potential. Was it the evil orc everyone called father? The man who fell from the sky. Obviously it wasn't the man who fell from the sky because he looked like Gandalf. He was dressed like Gandalf and he sounded like Gandalf and he was Gandalf and he was a wizard and everyone knew it was Gandalf. Was it the evil woman who looked like Kurtan from this country or was it the man who spent the entire season hanging out with Galadriel and was obviously Sauron all along? Who knew? There's no point telling you the identity of Sauron if you watched, you know who it is. If you didn't watch, you don't care. And if you like collecting decontextualized spoilers like Strange Little Presents, then you will have Googled Rings of Power, who is Sauron. One second after the episode finished airing and being assailed by thousands of online publications screaming out his identity for clicks. My point is this, good television cannot function on who shot Phil Mitchell cliffhangers alone. For my watchers and friends in the United States, the who shot Phil Mitchell reference refers to a soap opera that we watch here, well some people do, in the UK called East Enders. Yes, that might be the destination, but the journey also has to be enjoyable as well. And in terms of both plot and presentation, The Rings of Power simply hasn't cut the mustard. The biggest issue, the one that caused the bulk of the sniggering, was the acting. This is a show with a sprawling cast blasted across a number of locations, and there is no consistency whatsoever. People don't seem to have been told what sort of show they are acting in. It's bizarre. 
At its best, largely thanks to the thrilling, urgent Morford Clark, who clearly felt the sting of every word she spoke. The Rings of Power came off as a pretty good prestige drama, but at its worst, oh boy, there was some Toast of London level acting on display. Some sherry breath, regional theatre matinee performances stinking up the place. I don't want to single out any individual actors, partly because it would be cruel, but mainly because I suspect it's the fault of the directors rather than the actors. Even in Friday's episode, some of the smaller parts appeared to have beamed in directly from an unaired 1983 episode of Doctor Who. A good director with an overview of the entire series would have steered moments like this into safer territory. It didn't end there. Bear McCreary's ever-present score was syrupy and phoned in, as if he fell asleep on the fantasy preset on his keyboard. The whole thing was lit as if it was an episode of Hollyoaks. Given the sheer amount of money thrown at the show, some of the visual effects were incredibly inept. Tonally too, the drama didn't know if it was meant to be for beginner, intermediate or expert level Tolkien fans. As such, it felt like it was made for nobody. A while ago, someone on the financial side of the television industry reminded me that Amazon isn't a television company. It's a mail order business that doubles in TV to boost its cred. The Rings of Power seems to be a perfect case in point, as if Amazon dumped a billion dollars into it for the headlines, then ignored a lot of the details. The frustrating thing is that there's clearly so much potential here, I just don't know if I have it in me to watch any more to see if it is ever realised. And like I said, that is an article from The Guardian and it was written by Stuart Heritage and I don't think I could have said any of that better myself. Very lacking, very terribly acted, terribly directed. Like I said, they had no sense of scale, had no sense of direction. A lot of the characters that I saw anyway, and I'm going to say again, I only watched three episodes and I just I found it hard to get through. If somebody had said to me a couple of years ago that they were going to make a Lord of the Rings TV show, I'd have been jumping for joy. Everybody on the planet should have been jumping for joy. Given what Peter Jackson had to offer in the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, not The Hobbit, because that was utter cack, but even The Hobbit looks great compared to this TV show. Now what they're saying is that the next season, season two, if anybody's even remotely interested, is going to be more canonical and concentrate on Tolkien's lore, which is what you should have done in the first place. I don't even know who you made this TV show for, because Amazon's done nothing but piss off the fans and then tell the fans to piss off when they said they didn't like anything. I don't understand companies like that. I don't get it. Don't even know if I'm going to try and watch the rest of the show just for the crack. I just probably won't. I'm in season two. Nah. Nah. Jeff, I think you've wasted your billions of dollars. Anyway, let me know what you think of the show down below in the comments section. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.